everyone. I'm Mr. Ray and I teach Calc BC here at OHS. I regret that I can't be here today to let you know more about this exciting class. And if you have more questions about the course after today, please feel free to come back by and ask me anything. I will be back next week. In this video, I'll give you a few highlights of the course as well as talk a little bit about how it's graded, the amount of homework that I expect, and what I expect from students who are going to take Calc BC. BC is an exciting opportunity where you get to expand upon the knowledge, the skills, and everything you gained in AB, as well as in second semester, we changed to multivariable calculus, which is an essential part of the calculus sequence at most colleges and universities around the country. Typically, those colleges and universities will not give you credit for multivariable based on this course, but it is nice to get a preview of the kind of work that you will be expected to do as a college level calculus three student. I know from experience through my own children that this helps a great deal when you transition to the new and very exciting world of college campus life. First, a little bit about Calc BC. Initially, the course works its way through most of the same topics you did in AB, only at a much faster pace. We do a few of the topics more in depth, and we take a look at a few more applications of some of the work you did as a first year calculus student. For example, your work in integration techniques probably focus mostly on integration techniques such as U substitution, power rule, and some other basic integration techniques. Hopefully as we go through them again in Calc BC, you'll find that you've really gotten a lot better than the first time around. And we will expand upon them with some of the more higher level techniques, which you may have seen but definitely need a little more practice with. Those are things like integration by parts, partial fractions, and of course, the dreaded trigonometric substitutions. We have a similar experience with a lot of other topics from Calc AB as we continue our work and in all fields of the course, we expanded the depth of things like differential equations. Because the BC exam is about 75% material from your AB, you will receive an AB subscore, which we all hope is a five. In order to sign up for Calc BC, typically I like to see a four or a five on your first AB exam. It doesn't mean you have to have a four or five, but it certainly helps a lot um, as you venture into BC, if you have got the four or five. Um, as we move into those new topics covered on the BC exam, uh, you'll see that some of those are quite a bit more uh, challenging, such as power series, Taylor series, Maclaurin series, as well as polar equations, polar graphing, and the calculus of parametric functions. Sometimes these topics, they don't get all done in first semester, they flow into second semester, but we'll still change the name on the transcript to multivariable calculus. Once we're finished with all those, the world of multivariable calculus opens up into things like vector value functions, calculus in three dimensions, th different three-dimensional coordinate systems, uh, three-dimensional surfaces, three-dimensional volumes, and much, much more. Regarding the workload, there is homework pretty much every day. If you look at the assignment board in the back of the room, you can see that we're working on something every day this week. Constantly, there's homework. The grading works much like your other classes in that there's daily work. That's a small percentage of your grade, probably about 20%. But the tests, quizzes, all those things related to your content knowledge, that's the big 80% bulk of your grade. I find Calc BC to be a very exciting and interesting mathematics, and I hope you will too. It's very useful, especially if your plans include moving on into the engineering fields. If you have other questions about the course, as I said at the beginning of this video, please feel free to stop by my room anytime next week. And I look forward to meeting you next year in, in second year calculus. Thank you so much for your time. Have a great rest of your showcase.